Megatron must be stopped, no matter the cost. Welcome back to the Titanium Hangar. This is Mike. Today I'm going to talk to you about the missing link, Optimus Prime and Optimus Prime. This is two different iterations. The toy one with the trailer, the cartoon one without the trailer, and we'll be talking about these, both of these, but I did get this at Show Z. I'm going to have a link down below where you can get yours from Show Z and while they last. And this is something that I'm very impressed with that they're doing. I'm going to tell you everything about them, everything that I know, and also what I hope they do next. But anyway, let's get in and take a look at these. Missing Link, Optimus Prime's coming up. There on the package and look at all that beautiful styrofoam that's in there and it does look g1-esque obviously not quite in u.s style packaging and this is missing the back flap on it so it's a little bit different but still is kind of cool kind of fun homage to the original so here they are both out of the packaging and i gotta say that it feels really good handling these looking so brand new with all of the chrome perfect and it just it's really nice uh the difference between the two of the cabs let's just look at that real quick though so this is a uh, like 120 dollars set for the one with the trailer without the trailer is more of a cartoon look and it's uh looks like it's a little bit lighter on the blue kind of feels like the g2 one that went a little bit lighter uh maybe in a way and then this has tampograph versus this is a sticker. They both have the rub sign. Is it, does it, is it, can I get that the rub? The rub sign on there. Both have the stripe across. And with that, that's pretty cool. And we see the matrix chambers inside. This one on the left is chrome. This one is not chromed. We'll see all that as we transform them and stuff but uh, very, very similar, just very slight differences. And I, I believe this is 72 in the 120 set. Uh, looking at this one here also, we've got, so for the one with the trailer, looks like it might be tampograph still, but it looks like the stickers on the original. And this one has painted to look more like a cartoon. And that's just the differences between the cabs, but I want to go ahead and set this one off to the side and we are going to take a deeper look at the one with the trailer and let's see what all the trailer does here. You do have these that go around so that you can set the trailer level without having to put it on the Optimus Prime. That's a, a thing. And with that, get that out of the way and we can open this bad boy up. So you do have the back door that opens up. And then we can open up the top here. And we have this whole trailer. And let's see if I can get all this on camera. Let's get a good angle on it and go up. And kind of the same things that we saw before when it comes to the trailer. And I do believe this is removable. I'm not sure I've got to do anything special to remove it, but I think this is removable. I will figure that out here in just a little bit. So you just push down on it and it comes out. And it's got wheels on it and it rolls around. So that's a new addition and a new feature to this. And you don't really get a Diaclone Pilot or whatever that would go into here. That looks like it opens up somehow. There it goes, opens and, but there's no pilot to put in there or anything but it's kind of cool kind of interesting very homage and we will compare this to the g1 this opens up here and of course you can do all that on here also which isn't really going to do much good in the alt mode it's for with prime in here it's kind of like a re repair bay for prime it's kind of how it was back in the day you also do get missiles for that now if you if you care you get missiles, you can pop off the sprue and put in there. I'm not going to do that because I don't see the point. I'm not going to be using that feature with it at all. And put them back in there. We've got nice, is it stickers? Hard to tell if it's sticker or if it's just painted on, but I think it is a sticker. And all of these, similar to the original G1. 
So let's close this back up and have a look at a comparison of this trailer to an original. So I was looking at the best prime cab I could find on my shelf, and I think this is actually the G2 one. When I say G2, you see it has the lighter legs on it, kind of like that, and it has this print on there. So I think that was the G2 one. I'm missing the rub sign on it, but looking at this side by side, I mean, it really does feel, in alt mode, it really feels exactly like a vintage Optimus Prime. And uh, yeah, it gets the job done. Looks really good in the alt mode. Now, getting into just the trailers and not the cabs. I don't know if I can get all this on there. It's a slightly different gray. And it does, this whole side piece, now I do believe that's a sticker, does look different. It's not as sort of reflectively shiny. It has a little bit of reflectiveness to it, but not as much as the vintage one did. And it doesn't, it's not the same color as the vintage one. One thing that also surprised me in, you see a little bit of swirliness to the plastic on this, uh, but it's, it's not the same color. It's not the same, it's slightly different gray. And there's some swirliness to their gray. See the gold plastic syndrome and gray plastic syndrome. I don't know if they've truly fixed the problems with that over time. Would it still have some problems? Now, I don't have a lot of trailers that are broken, but I'll show you some breakage parts on here. Well, I mean, okay, I do have some trailers that are broken, but not that the giant chunk is broken. This little tab piece right here is broken off on some of my trailers. They made it bigger on this one, so it's like reinforced a little bit, so that probably won't be as big of an issue. We also see kind of, uh, all of this looks the same. This little circle of whatever we've got going on here that's etched in is the same here. They got a little oval looking thing right there. And then uh, this color. So this color is closer. This is like a uh, lighter blue. This is like a darker, almost purple look to it. And then coming around here to the back. Uh, yeah, my, there's the door. Mine's got a little bit of damage to it on mine. Open it up, see inside there. But let's go ahead and get them both opened up and see what they look like side by side open. Now, I'm not sure why my trailer is such a light blue on all the blues, but I do remember uh, my G1 trailer having this dark purple. So there were different iterations back in the G1 time frame. Now, one thing that they did take out is this launching mechanism. So this here, it sort of has a launching mechanism, if I can get it to work right, to push your roller out. Don't have a launching mechanism in this one. Uh, this, again, you see that there's like more shininess of what's going on with the stickers on the original vintage ones than on this new one. I'm a okay with all of it though. I mean, this, these are the differences. It's not a big deal. So close to the original, but it's different. And well, that's kind of the whole point, right? The whole point of it is to be a little bit different. And uh, again, you still have spots to store your weapons. So you can put uh, weapon storage in here like this if you want to. Not sure where you'd store this guy, but I'm sure there's a spot or you just throw it in there. And of course you do have roller. And if you want to put roller on his wheels, I'm not going to bother with it because I could dig out another roller, but I'm going to keep it looking like this. I like that minty fresh look to it, but let's go ahead and get a transform this guy. And then we'll put the guy in this repair bay. Before we transform, I do want to show on the roller, you can flip this around. You have a light. And then you can flip it around and then you can have the plug to plug this in and a little, little gas up nozzle kind of thing that's going on or ele electro gas up nozzle. They still have that, but you can't plug this into the side on the vintage one and then the reissues and stuff. There's a plug to plug it into the side. So I'm not sure why that wasn't still incorporated. And then a lot of the masterpiece ones have a, this pops up, but not on this guy. Now for the transformation, it's a little bit trickier than an original one, but still not really all that hard. So you want to kind of wiggle the arm out like so, and then you have the hand that folds out, which is kind of cool. And I, I guess I didn't show that in the comparison, but you have a hole right there to accept the hand. And in the new one, you have an actual headlight, which is kind of cool. And then the other side, the same way, you want to kind of wiggle this out and then fold the hand out, flip the head around. When it gets to the legs, you want to kind of move these out of the way. And then these are on sliders, so you can pull the leg out and then slide the legs 
slide it. So I never liked the kind of spring action thing they had going on with the original one. I'm not sure if that slid out all the way. Is that as out as it's going to go? But I didn't like that whole spring action gimmick that messed those up. So if you're trying to repair a vintage Optimus Prime, the legs are very problematic for repair. And yeah, that kind of sucks. But yeah, here they are uh, looking good. I'm thinking I can get these legs spread apart a little bit more like I did on the first one. So I'll, I'll check into that. I wonder why this one's not sliding out quite as much. I'll fiddle with that a bit and we'll get back. So here they are both transformed up and uh, this is the one with the trailer on the left and the one without the trailer, the more cartoony one on the right. And as you can see, there are going to be some differences between the two. Uh, and then I'll just show the quick differences that I'm seeing right away. And then we'll do uh, some articulation and mess around with more accessories and stuff. But you can see that there's more paint apps right here and it's actually etched in instead of flat, which is interesting. And we'll see that when we compare it to the G1. And you've got stickers on both sides of the shoulders here versus one tampograph right here. And then on there's the detailings in there, but this is actually painted. And then of course the toes we saw with the with the tail lights. And I also want to point out that I didn't notice it so much in the car mode, but this is kind of like a gray stripe around his chest. And this is more of a silver over here, silver. So gray, silver differences that I didn't really notice at first, but they both look great. Which one do I like better? I actually like the toy look one better just because it has more interesting detail to it. But I do kind of like how this tune accurate one's going too. So let's uh, go ahead and get into articulation then we'll talk about all these accessories. So this is the real big deal on why this is so important is because of the articulation. Head side to side and it should be oh, up and down, not ball jointed. So it's kind of left that about the same. And the head does look quite interesting with a tune look to it. Uh, shoulder crazy amount of articulation on the shoulder just a crazy amount which is awesome and cool and then you got the reverse butterfly like we've always had with this figure not so much to the forward which isn't a big deal uh, all this was the same but now we have an, a, a ratchet so we had this before with the original one and there's that and then the hand actually opens which is cool it'll accept the gun and stuff and, and holding it opens the wrist moves back and forth for transformation and it's side to side which is kind of cool and then we have an ab crunch now there's the ab crunch is right here it's got that ab crunch which is interesting looks kind of strange as an ab crunch but it is an ab crunch crunch it back crunch it and then you've got all the way to here all the way back to here all the way out to there oh lift that lift that wheel up and you can go all the way out to there and is he is he gonna be able to stand on one foot he should be able to do it he did it he can stand on one foot and do that kick but you had to kind of cheat with the knee a little bit there and uh the ratchets are part of that i wouldn't really do a side to side no no real thigh swivel to speak of don't want to push that too hard and then the knees go back to here, which uh, it's fine. You can get all that out of it. But they also go a little bit in reverse, just a little bit in reverse. And then the feet side to side, up and down. So this is new with the feet. Also, there is a heel spur in it. So if you need, for whatever reason, you can bring that down and have that heel spur in there if you want it. If you want that heel spur... You can get it. Actually, what you're going to find is when you transform it, you might have the heel spur pushed down slightly and think that one leg's longer than the other. So you'll have to make sure you adjust that heel spur properly. That's what happened to me when I transformed this guy. But articulation, it's massively improved from the original. If they would put this out when we were kids like this, it would have been really awesome. And it's just so much fun to see all this articulation in this finished Prime. Now for Prime and his bling bling and his accessorizing, we've got the gun and uh, the gun compared to the other gun. This has some paint on the hilt, or whatever, the st stock, the back of it, and then it goes into it. Now, if you open the hand, it's still holding it, because of the way it's shaped. Is it a 5 millimeter port that's already formed into it, which is great. Let's open up his chest, stick in the Matrix, which, let's compare it to this one. Matrix Chamber is 
On the toy one is Vac Metal, and it's just black on this one here, so on the cartoon one. I like the Vac Metal one way more, but, I mean, it's kind of give and take with each one of these. But, yeah, the Vac Metal, I kind of felt like they should both be Vac Metal. That's just my opinion. And then we get into this thing here, which is cool, because you just open it up, slide it over his hand, and then close it up, and then you have the... Obligatory Energy X for one episode that's included with every Optimus Prime forever until all are one. There you go with accessories, articulation. Let's get into other comparisons. All right, so comparing these to a G1, I have to say that these look way better than a G1. This is, and I remember going through several of my G1 Primes and trying to find the best looking one to compare to that KO. And this was the best looking one I found. I might be able to dig harder and find a better one. But uh, yeah, this is such an improvement. But I mean, a big part of it is having this thing like minty fresh. Like it's right out of the box. It's right out of the box, minty fresh. Versus something that's been played with for 40 years. Well, probably played with for 15 years. No, three years, then sitting for 15. I don't know. Anyhow, I've had this thing for like 20 years. So it doesn't, it's hard to really decide how much play it's gotten but it is some wear so you do see the similarities the yellow eyes blue eyes on that one um no <laughs> let's let's open that up there's nothing in here it's just seats where you store your fists as opposed to these and i do think you're you're able to remove that matrix chamber also that was something else i guess we'll show here in a bit uh down here the stickers are very similar the 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 tamper graphs are similar to those stickers and decals. Tamper graphs similar. Actually, it's a reverse, unless some kid put it on wrong. I bet you the kid put the sticker on wrong, so we'll just go with that. But, yeah, pretty interesting. Let's look at the backs of these guys. And, as you can see, similar yet different. Cool stuff to look at there. But, let's see about getting a matrix chamber out of there. How's that go? There it is. You have the similar two-seater thing going on if you take the chamber out. It's like I went to go pull it out. It popped out and just went flying. <laughs> there it goes. Put it back in. But yeah, it's quite similar if you take the matrix chamber out. So interesting to have such a different take, an upgraded classic. Here's how they compare to Earthrise Prime. And then if you want to say how do they compare to red prime it's kind of like the porridge is too cold the porridge is too hot these are just right i don't know what do you think but i do think the arthritis prime's good i'm actually curious will they do a better prime down the road i think we have one announced for studio series or something but uh yeah i think we're getting another prime from hasbro and what are they gonna do different how much better will it be than this will be interesting to find out so here they are both next to the G1 Megatron, which they need to do next. And, you know, it's Takara. They're not limited by U.S. rules and regulations. They are Takara selling adult collectibles. They can do whatever they want. They could make Megatron every, every which way, just like this. And they need to. It's really the only way we're going to get a Megatron. But what would they do different? How would they make it better? I'm just actually curious how they do that. Would they make these legs slide out and be thicker? I mean, what would they do different? I would love to see what they would do different with a Megatron. Or would they just do it really close to this and just slightly update articulation and shoulder joints or update the elbows and stuff? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It would be really cool to kind of see what they could do different with a Megatron. I did recently take a look at Megatron on the channel, but it would be outstanding to see what they could do to improve this and they, they don't have to abide by any sort of goofy regulations they could do whatever they want and that's all there is to it but what do you guys think about a megatron in this form so i'm going to finish this out with these standing in a repair bay trying to avoid any kind of glare so what do i think about these i think they're awesome i think it's fantastic a price point does feel a bit high for 120 for the one with the trailer and then 72 with the one without trailer. But it's something that, A, it's Takara adult collectible. B, it's not something you're going to get at Walmart or Target or Kmart or anything like that. C, 
when they sell out, I don't see them doing them again. I, I could see them moving on to a Megatron and maybe a couple other key characters that really do need an update, but uh, this is just really awesome. It's cool. It's something that I wanted to see, and actually somebody pointed out in my video for the KO that it'd be nice to see like a Mattel Origins Motu kind of upgrade to that figure, and then a year later we got it, so it's pretty cool that they did it. I'm excited for it. I had to get one of each and see what they're like, and really I think, now the more I think about it, I'm going to keep the cartoon one out because I already have the G1 toy and I'll have this in the box kind of looking minty in the box and I'll have this one out of the package for comparisons and fun stuff to mess around with so let me know what you think about this in the comments below like and subscribe and I, I did get this at show Z I'll have a link down below where you can get both of these at show Z while they still have in stock remember TH reviewer code Tadirum Hanger out One shall stand, one shall fall.